All right, all right, all right. How everybody doing out there? How everybody doing? Um, yeah, pretty much for the day. Um, you know, I want to kind of uh, get into uh, another portion of uh, detoxification. You know, uh, I think I'm gonna make this like a little playlist. All right, just about uh, detoxing in general. Okay, in the last uh, video, uh, we went over uh, the seven things uh, that you should consider uh, before detoxing. Okay, so when uh, this and this one, uh, how everybody doing? How everybody doing? So in um, this episode, uh, we pretty much going to talk about uh, prepping for your detox. Okay, prepping for detox, and um, you know I just want everybody to know how important uh, prepping for your detox is, because you know I'm coming across so many people, you know, uh, just seeing so many different things through messages, uh, through the various groups and uh, different things like that, and messages that I'm personally getting. And people are just, you know, just jumping straight into detox, not even knowing what they're doing. And then they're coming and asking for help. Well, you know, you should have asked before you actually jumped into it, you know. Um, it's always best to seek advice first. To seek advice, plan things out accordingly so that you know exactly what you're doing. You don't want to get into a situation where you can accidentally harm yourself by not knowing what you're doing. This is why I strongly encourage everyone to educate themselves before the detox process. Always educate yourself before the detox process. You don't have to go and be a rocket scientist about this, okay? It really doesn't take much, you know, just a few key things that you gotta know. And as you uh, go, go along within this journey, you take baby steps. You continuously take baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. You learn a little here, you learn a little there. And you learn as you go, okay? But at least you should have a few basics down before you actually detox. And the first thing to start off with, as I said uh, from the video last time, was uh, the seven steps to consider before detox, okay? So that's the first thing that you wanna consider. Um, so, you know, if anybody didn't watch that, go back and watch uh, the video I did, seven steps to consider uh, before detoxing, all right? How everybody doing, how everybody doing? Um, so getting into the prep, right? The first thing of your preparation is what kind of detox are you doing? Okay, just as we uh, got into before, there's different levels of detoxification. So ask yourself, what kind of detox do I wanna do? How aggressive do I want this detox process to be? Am I just starting out? Okay, am I ready for a, a water fasting with herbs? Or, do, or am I just ready for juices? Okay, or can I just do just uh, fruits and salads, different things like that? You gotta ask yourself those key questions. All right, so after you ask yourself that and you get that thoroughly established, what detox process that you wanna take, the road that you wanna take, or even if you wanna mix it up, okay? From there, that's your first step, all right? The second thing is, okay, well, what do I need to incorporate to properly detox? Dr. Sebi said, what, the number one thing you always wanna do, what, get in a gallon of water a day. Get in a gallon of water a day. That's the number one priority. Water is going is always a filter. So even if you don't have anything else, uh, you can always fast on water. I'm not telling anyone to fast on water, but I'm just telling you that that's something that people do, okay? I don't personally just do that myself, and it's only recommended to strictly water fast for an extended amount of time without herbs or anything if, if you're at a fasting facility under care of a, a fasting professional. You shouldn't be water fasting for X amount of days, you know, just by yourself. Now, if you're water fasting with herbs, that's a different story. But strictly water fasting alone, that's something that should be done at the healthcare facility, okay? That specializes in that, all right? So, a gallon of water a day, or at least strive for a gallon of water a day. Many people out there barely even drink eight, ga eight glasses of water a day. And that's the recommended daily, eight glasses of water a day. So, eight glasses of water a day, that's 64 ounces. So that's already a half a gallon of water a day that we're supposed to drink. So asking people to drink a gallon of water a day, that shouldn't be that hard because the standard is 64 ounces. It's half a gallon already. So all you're doing is increasing your water intake by half, okay? And if you do struggle with that, then you should plan out how you're gonna drink your water. If you struggle with that, you know, that can help you, okay? Like me personally, I don't really have that problem you know, because of my job. So I'm just constantly drinking water throughout the day. But I do understand that there are many out there that struggle with uh, uh, drinking water. So 
you know, you can just time it on out. And then that's how you go about that. So that's number one, okay? Is strive for at least a gallon of water a day. Even if you get three-fourths of a gallon, that's a start. And then continue the process to, to move it up, to move it up. All right, so at least a gallon of water a day, that's the first thing that you want to do. All right, or that you take, take into consideration. The second thing is, uh, okay, what protocol am I going to do? What protocol am I going to do? What herbs am I going to incorporate in this detox to have an effective detox? Okay, and based upon your budget, because your budget is going to be able to detail what you're going to be able to get for your detox. So you're doing all of this thing, all of these things as the preparation, okay? So you are ironing out your budget. What can I afford monthly? Now, a lot of people tend to uh, make excuses about money and different things like that. I understand it is hard out here, you know, for people in general, but at the same time, there's some things in your life where you can cut corners for your health, and it's all worth it. Trust me, it's all worth it. You know, the most amount of things that I spend is on my health. And we should all do the same, you know, if we want to live healthy and productive lives, not just for us, but for our families as well. Okay, so uh, plan out, you know, your, your finances, see what you can afford a month, see what certain other things that you might can cut out just so you can detox for a month or two. You know, if you have a little a weekly habit, you go out, you know, uh, uh, for a weekend or something like that, you might spend 50 to $70 a weekend. Okay, well, cut that out for a while, cut that out for a month or two and save that money towards your detoxification process, okay? That can be great benefit to you, that can be a great help to you. So it counts to make those little sacrifices, you know? You have to make sacrifices. If you wanna get well, you wanna live healthy, you have to make sacrifices, okay? So once you plan out, you know, your budget and different things like that, now what herbs am I gonna incorporate? Okay, what herbs am I gonna incorporate? The basics of all detox processes should be, number one, a blood cleansing formula, okay? A blood cleansing formula number two colon cleanse formula and number three Irish moss and bladder rack okay Irish moss and bladder rack those are the basics for any detoxification process all right for any detoxification process those are the basics those three formulas right there okay so that's the least that you want to incorporate into your arsenal so if you don't have money to get other herbs beyond that at least do those three at least okay at least bare minimum bare minimum you should not be doing any type of detoxification without at least those three now some people do it without it and you can that's perfectly fine but what's most optimal if you have at least those three what did dr sebi say he said always attack the blood he always mentioned the blood why? Because in, in various ancient manuscripts, you know, and, and, um, and of course uh, the Bible, I don't know what everybody believes in and things like that, not to really get into that, but the Bible says that what? The life is in the flesh of the blood, all right? So you have to attack the blood. The blood is everything. The blood reads down to the lymphatic system and to the other systems as well. The blood is considered the kitchen of the body, okay? That's where you feed the body the mineral so that the blood can be sustaining all of the different body symptoms man okay so you always want to attack the blood all right and you always want to attack the colon that's why you have to have a colon cleanse formula while detoxing always have a colon cleanse formula through detoxing now why is that because with the colon cleanse the colon holds uh, uh, thousands of neurons okay that correlate to the uh, to the brain Okay, so that's why when you ingest food that are bad for you, instantly your body sends an inflammatory response directly to the brain. And inflammation instantly goes directly to the brain. That's why a lot of foods and a lot of different uh, uh, chemicals, they go, toxins, they go straight to the brain. They contaminate your brain, your pineal gland, you know, the whole endocrine system and you get messed up. So you always want to attack uh, the colon and always have a colon formula handy. And plus, once you start to move out uh, crud from the colon, that's when the whole body systems begin to open up slowly but surely. You begin to breathe a little better. You know, begin to think a little clearer. You know, any, any migraines and, and headaches and things that you may have start to slowly uh, dissipate. You know, so the colon cleanses is always key. The colon is considered the trunk of the tree, so to speak. You know, that's the foundation of our body, the colon. You know, because the lymphatic system runs all up and down the colon. So we went over the blood cleansing formula, the colon cleansing formula, and the Irish moss and bladder rack. Now the Irish moss and bladder rack, that's always gonna be key because what? The body needs minerals. 
the body needs minerals. Okay, yeah, and also the blood blood formulas, they help to charge the body up. You know, they help to charge the body up, but uh, the Irish moss and bladder rack, that's gonna help to remineralize the body because while you're using the blood cleansing formulas, those are going to uh, uh, nourish the blood as well as uh, do a thorough cleaning, a thorough sweeping of the body, inflammation, bacteria, uh, cholesterol, uh, acids, so on and so forth. So while your body is cleansing with the blood formula, then you have the Irish moss and bladder rack to remineralize the body. So you have to do a two-in-one process. You can't have one without the other. You just can't be cleaning out the body and have nothing to replace uh, uh, all, of the, all of the damage that was done. The body has to be repaired and it's being repaired by those minerals that you introduce into the body with the Irish moss and bladder rack, okay? And we all know that uh, sea moss or Irish moss has 92 out of 102 minerals that the body needs. So that's very, very important. And Dr. Sebi always mentioned the importance of sea moss and that if you do it uh, in a gel form, that's something that you can have at, at a large quantity every single day. Now, if it's the powder form, you don't want to use as much because it's considered more like a herb. So with the powder form, you will use considerably a lot less than in the actual gel form, okay? And in the gel form, you know, with the sea moss and things like that, you know, you can put that in the in your soups, your smoothies, and, and different food recipes and things like that, you know? But me personally, uh, I just use the uh, the powder, you know, and I get the, uh, the whole sea moss when I can. You know, I, I currently got some now, you know, uh, that I'm waiting to uh, put together tonight. That's uh, been soaking uh, since last night. So those are the three basics that you always want to have, okay? So you put all that to the side once you figure out, okay, this is what, can I, what I can afford. I'm going to get these three basics. Now what can I add on top of that? Now on top of that, right, you might want to uh, do something, maybe like another little blood cleansing formula or maybe you have liver issues, so maybe you would do something for the liver or some or some random herb for the liver or some random herb for the lungs, or maybe you got lung troubles or maybe you're a, a smoker or something like that and you're trying to get over smoking, so you would want to take some uh, mullein leaf or mullein leaf tea or mullein leaf in a, in a capsule form, encapsulate it yourself, something like that. So everything else is, a, is an additive, but you always want to at least have those basics and a few more blood formulas if possible, at least one to two other blood formulas if possible, because you know uh, those first three are just for the cleansing but the blood still has to be remineralized as well with more iron 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 dr sebi always mentioned that iron 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 is the key because the one formula is going to be helping the cleansing and it nourishes a bit but when you add in more uh, of blood formulas on top of that now you're really firing up the body now the body can really receive that iron and you can truly be electrified you know, that's why, uh, once again, I always mention Dr. Sebi formulas, and he has all of his formulas uh, to a degree are blood cleansing formulas. You know, the Biofero, uh, the Viento, you know, uh, you know, different things like that. So, you know, uh, the blood cleansers are always going to be key. So, as I said, those three things and then anything else is on top of that if you can afford it. And then you can play around with different things that you would want to incorporate uh, within your detox. So after you consider what type of detoxification that you want to do you plan out your budget that's number two and then number three you get your basics your irish moss and your bladder rack your colon cleanse formula and your blood cleansing formula so once you get those out then you can see what extra additives that you can place on top of that so and this is all during the preparation stage this is all prepping all prepping okay okay all preparation so once you got those things down packed okay now you actually place your order. You place your order with wherever you get your herbs from and different things like that. Now I got my herbs with me. This all during the pre-staging uh, uh, process. I got my herbs with me, okay. Now what should I do? Okay, well I got my blood cleansing formula. I got my colon cleanse formula. I got my Irish moss and bladder rack. So how am I going to go about uh, incorporating this throughout my whole day? That's what you have to ask yourself. How am I going to incorporate this throughout the day? When am, when am, what time am I going to take this? When am I going to take this? When am I going to take that formula? And that's where a proper schedule comes into play. Depending upon your schedule, everybody doesn't have the same amount of time uh, within a day because, you know, everybody's so busy, you know. Um, so you have to plan out accordingly. Some people only have eight hours to get something in or some people may have more time than that. You know, depending on your schedule, your job, different things like that. You know, so it's best to just plan things out. Like, for instance, my work schedule 
is from eight in the morning usually to like 4 30. you know so i would plan out how i would do my things accordingly and for instance as soon as i wake up this is just a, just an example i don't do it exactly like this but i'm just giving an example as soon as you wake up you know say 7 30 in the morning you take you know your colon cleanse formula okay two hours later okay now you want to take a blood cleanser formula two hours later now you don't want to take this formula so on and so forth you know you should at least give it at least like an hour and a half to two hours before uh, taking each formula you know just to give the first formula time to allow to assimilate within the body because when you're taking capsules it takes a little longer to get into the bloodstream and everything like that but when you're doing things in t-form it gets directly to the bloodstream directly to the body systems so you want to allow the herbs to do its thing for a little while and then incorporate another formula so on and so forth so those are some things to consider as well T time out time out things every say hour and a half to two hours you know or if you're just taking a tonic, tonic or something like that maybe like four ounces or something of a tonic you know you could do that first thing in the morning and you could do that randomly in between your, your uh, encapsulation pills and different things like that if you have a tea okay well what time am i going to take this tea in the a.m what time am i going to take this tea in the, in the p.m because usually with teas you'll want to take those like two to three times throughout the day so you do all of that scheduling all of that scheduling is out the way okay now what's next after that am i ready to detox now you make sure you you know go through your little checklist of everything that you've done everything that you've gathered all the information that you know about detoxing look into some more information because you can never know enough information you might come across something else vital you know uh, that you may have needed to know so always take your time when going to detox that's only if you haven't ever detoxed before because that's what i'm really doing is for for those who haven't detoxed before and don't know where to go whatsoever okay so those are great great things to consider now after that now how do i actually go about it do i jump straight into detox or what do i do i usually tell people to prep okay and the prepping should start at least a week or two before your detox now if you're a heavy meat eater i would suggest that you don't go directly into detox because it could be a lot harsher i would suggest that you go alkaline as you should eat according to the dr sebi nutritional guide for at least three weeks to three months give your time some give yourself some time to get acclimated to the lifestyle and gain more knowledge before you actually go into your detox okay but if you don't eat meat like that and you've been you know uh getting into the alkaline lifestyle okay just now just do it full fledged do it for at least three weeks you know if you have some knowledge some information or if you are a vegan you know just take a couple weeks out get a little acclimated with the lifestyle you know and then proceed to detox so the minimum i usually tell people is at least three weeks but if you're in a rush then hey so be it you can do that there's nothing wrong with it but the purpose of taking your time is for at least three weeks to three months is you're allowing your body to slowly acclimate to the lifestyle and to slowly remove some inflammation out of the body so that way when you actually go to detox it's not as harsh okay it's not as harsh because trust me i know from experience when you come directly from a lifestyle of eating meat and you go directly into detox it can be very harsh maybe not for everybody but majority of people it is very harsh and for me it was a, i had a very very horrible experience one time when i did that and i just noticed how bad everything how i was coughing up so hard spitting up mucus so hard you know and it was just yellow stuff coming out of me for for at least a month or two everything i, I expectorated out was all yellow and it was harsh and sometimes my chest even hurt from trying to spit it up and get it out you know just, just globs of <laughs> nastiness all from that mucus all from that mucus from that dairy and those meat products okay so this is why you want to take your time with the detox process please i urge everyone to take their time with the detox process so now once you've done that now you can go and incorporate everything within your regimen and that you want to do okay now you can do that so just to go over briefly uh those basic steps once again you know uh you know if, if like i said if you've been eating meat you know and things like that fully make the switch fully make the switch wait at least three weeks to three months before you even uh want to jump into a detox get acclimated with the lifestyle or uh, one other thing that also helps you as well that when you get off of your detox 
that now you already know how to cook some meals and you already know how to live to the alkaline lifestyle therefore you don't go back into eating garbage because so many people struggle you know because once they jump into detox now they got to come back and try to learn how to cook now they got to try to come back and learn okay well, what, what meals can i eat well i bought 200 dollars worth of food what do i do with this you know so that way you're you're prepared you know uh, for your complete transition you know so that that helps in many ways so as i said once again you know um just starting off you know a heavy meat eater cut it down or at least cut it off jump into the alkaline lifestyle at least give yourself three weeks to three months you know to get acclimated then detox okay uh number two is consider what type of detoxification process do you want to do do you want to water fast with your herbs do you want to uh, juice fast do you want to just go on a fruit fast do you just want to go on the fruits uh, 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 soups or uh, uh, you know uh, green leafy vegetables and just do a raw detox or something like that okay uh, number three will be the uh, the budget okay well what budget am I working with calculate everything you know your expenditures you know and uh, take away some of the uh, nonsense that you may do within your life temporarily just so that you can uh, have more money you know uh, for your health and throughout your detox you know so uh, those are uh, pretty much the steps and, uh, and you know, just having all of your, your blood formulas and all of your formulas uh, lined up, you know, and herbs that you want to incorporate, you know, uh, for your detox. Those three basics. Remember, Irish moss, bladder rack, blood cleansing formula, colon cleansing formula. Top three formulas that you want to get. You know, that's mandatory. Everything else is additives. You know, and you definitely should get some additives if you can afford it. But if not, then at least those three basics right there. Okay. So once you plan all of that out, now you have to set up a schedule for yourself based upon all of the herbs and things that you have so that you can make sure you can incorporate all of this within your daily regimen and let that become a habit to you, you know, uh, throughout your detoxification process. And I, and I promise you, if you do this, you will be more successful than a lot of people that are just doing detoxing and don't know what they're doing. They're just jumping out of the window and doing it. I don't encourage nobody, if you don't know what you're doing, don't just jump into it and then ask someone, well, what am I to do? Because, you know, I'm not getting on anybody, but I get that a lot. And I'm just shocked. Like, you just started this and you don't know what you're doing. Well, what if you harmed yourself, you know? So, you know, just doing this to be as helpful as possible. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate everybody for joining. And, um, you know, uh, good health and wealth to everybody. Please like, share the video. You know, I'm just uh, trying to uh, grow this platform here. And, uh, you know, just uh, with everybody, spread the knowledge spread the uh, the health you know spread the wealth you know this is for everybody man you know the knowledge is not to be kept for just for one person it's to be spread for everybody so that everybody can take care of themselves not only themselves but also encourage your family members and friends too and sometimes you don't necessarily even have to tell somebody but you can lead by example and you can they can see the things in which you're doing and they can be encouraged strongly encouraged and like oh you making big changes oh your skin lightening up oh you dropped a few pounds oh you looking good girl oh, you looking good my man you know what i'm saying so that's the things that you want to have man that's that's you want to leave always lead by example and i try to be an example for all those that are out there so i hope this uh video was of some inspiration that you found value within this video so i thank you for joining and uh to the next time i love everybody peace